What's up, Code Phonies? I have a special deal for you guys today. You can head over to CodePhony.com and buy my course for $9.99. You can learn how to program and everything. Then you can also click my face and join my Discord and buy a shirt from me. Nothing against those YouTubers or anything. I just don't like that kind of content, and it really triggers me, especially whenever it's over the top and they just start selling like any and everything on the planet. Whenever we're programmers, and we have plenty of ways to make money ourselves if we really wanted to. In my case, I want to make money through programming things that, I, building things I want to build, and then you know finding people, finding a market for those products, and actually working as an as a developer as well. So they made me realize that I need to refocus this channel, and I I don't want to create a community where I'm mentoring people 24-7 because it's really stressful and debugging someone else's code is actually very time consuming and I appreciate everyone who's joined my community and I'm going to continue to help those who are, who ask me questions but I just want to let you guys know that there are other communities out there that are that are very willing and they this is what they do and that's why I'm making this video right here to show you those youtubers that I watch on the daily so that I can immerse myself in thoughts of programming and that way I, I just keep thinking, even if I'm distracted, I'm still in that lane, you know what I mean? In no particular order, I've made a little list for you guys of these YouTubers, and I've included a little clip of them just to highlight what, they're, what kind of content that they make. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, Code Phony, and also all the channels on this list. That way you can support the community, and that way we can keep making content for you guys. So first up, we have Joshua Fluke, he's a real stand-up guy. One of my favorite videos of his is how to stay away from trash dev jobs. Yes. I have to look at it again. Trash dev jobs. Free lunch Friday. Every Friday we do a team activity. So <laughs> prepare for probably a lot of cringe. And again, if you don't want to do this, you're not going to be a team player. And then, you know, if you just want to do your work and go home because it's Friday. Nope, too bad. You got to do a team activity every Friday. And that to me sounds terrible. Maybe like, you know, once a month, once every other month, but every single week we're doing a team activity, uh, hard pass. I don't care about free lunch. Just let me go home, man. It's Friday. Next we have Coding Phase. He's a really down-to-earth guy, and my favorite video of his is three projects you should not have in your web dev portfolio. So definitely do not have a JavaScript calculator. Next we have Real Tough Candy. She's relatively new to the scene, but she, ha she makes some really good content. My favorite video of her so far is three reasons you should avoid Udemy in your portfolio. If you're a web developer, you've probably heard of Udemy. You may have even built a project or two using one of their courses, but are these projects okay to put in your web developer portfolio? Ooh, good question, right? Let's talk about it. Next, next we have Stefan Mishuk. I think that's, I'm pronouncing it correctly, but he's been in the game for a super, super long time. And I really respect his, his like perspective. And my favorite video of his right now is, in 2019, which five programming languages are in decline? Hey everybody, how you doing today? So, in today's vlog, a little nerd news. Five programming languages that are probably doomed. Link below. The next one's more about entertainment, I guess, but still staying in that same lane. So, I watched the tech lead. I, I love his videos. He's absolutely hilarious to me. I, I know so, some people might not enjoy his dry humor. But his favorite video of mine is Things I Wish I Knew When I Started Programming. Hey, Tech Late here. Now, I've been programming for a long time. I started maybe 600 years ago or so, and I've learned a lot of things on my journey. I thought I would cover in this video some of the top tips I have for you, things I wish I knew when I started coding myself. Next, we have Will Kwan. Why software engineers suck at startups? This guy has a real, he's new to the scene too, and he, I, he has a really cool perspective, and I like the way he does his videos. So a lot of people ask me why I haven't gotten a job in over two years, when I could be making a six-figure salary as a software engineer in Silicon Valley. And the short answer is, I've been selling software on the internet since 2012, and after a ton of trial and error, I eventually figured out how to make money. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Let me know in the comments below if you already follow any of these guys. And or if you don't like some of these guys and tell me why. As usual, this is Code Pony out. Peace.